Hi, and welcome back to a quick tips tutorial. Uh, this time I'm going to be talking about um, how to use an external instrument like a plugin in Logic. But before I do that, don't forget to subscribe and like and leave comments and all that kind of stuff. Now, let's dive into this. So it's quite easy. All you need to do is create a track. So you want to do a software instrument, like a normal software instrument. Now here you can choose what you want. So I'm going to choose straight away external instrument, stereo, and then create. And then you've got this external instrument that will come up as a instrument. Okay, so then you need to go MIDI destination. So we're going to go to the JDXI Roland, all the MIDI channels, and then input uh, one and two. Then we just close that down and uh, I can just hit my keyboard and that will come up. Now I can also put on a delay or, or any kind of plugin just to give it a bit of depth. And as you can hear, it's, it's playing exactly as if it was a virtual instrument basically. So then all I need to do is record this as I would any kind of virtual instrument. Just hit record. So and then and uh, so here you just can then change your your sounds here of course this will play back etc so yeah so that's how you do a external instrument in logic and make it uh, work like a virtual instrument but the only thing you need to remember is that once you turn this off well it's not going to call back your your sound so you need to turn the this back on and you need to put your sound back on and uh, then it will behave the same again either bounce it out as a uh, a file or record it back onto another audio track but you can't bounce it in place because the audio uh, the virtual instrument is not within Logic itself, so you just have to bounce that out as a track. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Ciao.